With the grace of the Lord, the tests in our life become testimonials of His love. Dr. Kishan Gadia from Uganda, Africa came to Puttaparthi for the first time in 1960 and the interaction he had with Baba then was so revealing that his faith in Bhagwan was sealed forever. Since then, he experienced amazing instances of His grace for over 50 years. Here is one such life-changing account. In 1965, Dr. Kishan Gadia was in Prashantinalayam for a few days to have Bhagwan's darshan. On his last day in Prashanti, Swami came up to him and to his pleasant surprise materialized a visiting card for him and told him to keep it always in his wallet. Dr. Gadia flew back to Uganda feeling gratified and blessed. Seven years later, the situation in Africa became terrible. There was a lot of political unrest and Indians especially were under threat. During these times, one morning he left his home for work as usual. But on the way, his car was stopped abruptly by a soldier who started checking his vehicle for weapons. Not finding anything there, the soldier next got into his car and asked the doctor to drive. The doctor thought someone must be sick and probably needed his assistance. But after a few miles, once they were in an isolated place where there were only bushes around, the soldier asked the doctor to stop. Apprehending something untoward, the doctor got off the car and looked around to see if there was anyone else in the vicinity. Immediately, the soldier took out his loaded machine gun, confronted the doctor and said, What is your last wish? Completely terrified, the doctor pleaded for his life, saying, Leave me, what did I do to you? The soldier simply said, You people have ruled over us for too long. The doctor explained that it is the British who ruled over them. He in fact has been serving in the remote villages there. But the soldier was unrelenting. The doctor knew there was no escape. As a final wish, he asked if he could see his children for the last time. The soldier flatly refused. Meanwhile, a taxi arrived there and the driver asked the soldier why he was harassing the doctor. The cruel soldier threatened that man too and asked him to leave if he didn't want to be killed. The taxi driver went straight away to the local head of the army and informed him how a kind doctor's life was in danger. Time was running out for the doctor. The soldier finally said, You have two options. You can smoke or pray before I fire. The doctor immediately remembered the photo that Baba had given him. He took out his wallet. The moment he saw the visiting car, he burst out crying for Baba. Something stirred in the soldier's mind. He asked rudely, Who is your God? The doctor showed him the visiting car and said, Sai Baba. The soldier then read the card aloud. Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba, Prashanti Nalayam, Penukonda Taluk, Anantapur District, Andhra Pradesh, India. Something happened to him. He looked at the doctor now, handed over the car, and said, Go. And he himself started walking away. The doctor stood there absolutely stunned. Is it real? Why did the soldier leave him? He had no clue. Meanwhile, the army jeep arrived to protect him. Immediately after this, the doctor left Africa forever and settled down with his entire family in the United Kingdom. Decades later, in 2003, during a session with the students in Trai Brindavan, 
his abode in Bangalore, Bhagwan asked the doctor to speak. The doctor, with Bhagwan's permission, started recounting this incident. After the doctor's talk, Swami continued the story and said, "The soldier was indeed a wicked person who had killed many innocent people. But that day." When his eyes fell on Baba's visiting card, his mind was changed. Swami said, "I transformed his mind." From then on, the soldier deeply yearned to have a picture of Bhagwan, and he eventually got it from Kampala, the capital of Uganda. Once he got this, he threw away his gun and started a new life. He started praying to Baba regularly. With time the intensity of his prayers deepened and one day while praying he heard a laugh he opened his eyes to see who was there and was amazed to see swami walking out of the photograph in his room baba stood in front of him and said i am laughing come to put a party and vanish the next second Desperate to see Baba in person, the soldier somehow landed in Puttaparthi and was thrilled to see Bhagwan giving darshans. Even as he was soaking in this bliss, Baba came to where he was seated and lovingly gifted him one of his own robes, blessed him profusely, and silently moved on. It is Baba's love that recreates us. The touch of his presence transforms us in ways too incredible for our little minds to fathom.